54.2 kg WBC interim super bantamweight title fight 10 rounds 2 minutes each ladies and gentlemen who will go after who who will bring down who please help me to welcome to the ring ladies and gentlemen all the way from Zimbabwe the beast put your hands together for no other than Kuda Kwashe Chiwandire Those that are watching, can you please just confirm if it's clear before I cut the live? I know this match is not on ZNBC TV 1 and 2. Just confirm with me if it's clear, I leave it here. Anyone to confirm, please, those that are watching my live? K Felix here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the hot, the cool, and the vicious. Please welcome back into the ring, Catherine Perry. Thank you so much, sir. Williams, thank you so much. Shall we all rise for the national anthem of the Republic of Zimbabwe? The match is now starting, something that was announced to start at 15 hours, it is only starting at, this should be 22 or something. Thank you so much uh, Langson, thank you. Then I'll leave it here. Please enjoy the, the match. What's your prediction? Yeah. 
now the national anthem of Oh, the you think Catherine is winning? Um, I have a different feeling. I have a different feeling. Anyway, let's wait and see what's gonna happen. But of course, I'll, I'll love her to win. Bench and Coma, thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Winning in the final round. Okay, we shall see. Maybe some people still want to win some airtime by predicting the correct winner. Mr. Moses Mimshak, you are welcome, sir. Thank you. McLeod, Piri, thank you so much. We shall see about that. Please Catherine will knock her out. Okay. Please remain standing uh, for a moment of silence. Malaika Rich. And we'll have ten bells. There's nothing on TV one, nothing on TV two. Only TV three. Professional boxing and wrestling control board chairman. And the late Anthony Mwamba. Who was promoter for Exodus Boxing Stables. This is the moment we have been waiting for. Our very own Catherine Perry. Ten strikes of the bell. John Andre, thank you. You are also welcome. Of course, I have enough band. <laughs> Mr. Edward. Thank you very much. Don't worry. Gentlemen, you may take your seats as I now invite our commissioner, Mr. Josta Sims. Thank you so much. You're welcome. The same wishing to say just a few words. I will introduce our Minister of Justice, Honorable Mulambo Haimbe, MP, ladies and gentlemen, to just grace the occasion with a few words. Please give him a hand of applause. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, good evening. Are we ready? Sit down, are we ready? Thank Not you yet. to the ambassador of the Republic of Zimbabwe to Zambia, Ms. Chaiti Charamba and team. We say Tinoku Gashirai Nobufa. You are most welcome. And also to the fighters from the various countries that have played this occasion today, we say you are most welcome. This is not an occasion for many ways. I would also like to recognize the president, the presence of the WDC Vice President and ABU President, Mr. Haochi Yoshan, <coughs> I hope I've uh, pronounced that correctly, and my colleagues, the Honorable Minister of Mine, Mr. Paul Kabusme, the Honorable Minister of Water and Sanitation, Mr. Mike Posha. Ladies and gentlemen, sport is always a unifying factor. So this evening, even as we have competitors from different countries, we are uniting as one. So let us make it a fair fight 
and all the best to the two boxers. May the best woman win. Thank you very much. BB officer. Mambo Mlenga. Who is the BB officer? <laughs> Who's the BB officer? Sir. Imo Mambo Mlenga. The dignitaries in the ring, you may now take your seats. Mm -hmm. Would like to recognize also present here tonight to the board chairman, Colonel Dr. Wamanima Chengombe, the technical chairperson of the board, Colonel Galo Francis Mwanza, the legal chairperson, Madam Agalicia Chisenga, finance chairperson. Women's Affairs, Madam Esther Perry, our WPBF former champion, and also our board secretary, Mr. Tsipasha Tsipalo Expedito. Ladies and gentlemen, our match commissioner for this particular match is Mr. Yuchi. Um, the, the doctors. Oh, Catherine B. But how, how is she? I will see a BB officer. <laughs> Mr. Frank Montali. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our judges, judge number one, Lynette Onam from Kenya. Please give a big hand to judge Lynette Onam. And also, all the way from South Africa, judge Tandy Ngotwane. Please give a big hand to judge number two, Judge Tandi Mutwani and from Zambia, Mr. Francis Kiwa. A big hand to Judge oh, Mr. Nabi Aubrey, you're welcome. Aubrey Pesuka, you're welcome. I know, yes, it's not on TV Zambia. one and two. And now, introducing the boxers, you're welcome. Age 26, 7. Just confirm if it is still clear. And one draw. So that I don't make any adjustments. Thank you. Thank you for that confirmation. That's our own. I hope she wins this one. Solomon Chilekwa, thank you so much for joining. I just think female boxer in Kudakwasha to Angere. I think so as well. Ahead of our world boxing council, white bottom weight, title showdown against Zambia's Catherine Period here at the Kamen Complex in Lusaka tonight. So confident is the Zimbabwean, she taught the hero newspaper before coming to Zambia. Should either die or bring the bar to Zambia or to Zimbabwe rather. Chuandire is the first boxer from the country to contest for the WPC gold belt. And she could write her own intriguing piece of history if she becomes Pierre's conqueror tonight. Apparently, Chuandere's opposition is the only female boxer from Africa to have ever won the WPC badge when she claimed it in Mexico seven years ago and the Zimbabwean would become only the second female boxer from Africa to lay her hands 
on the prestigious accolade. If she wins, catch it tonight. But welcome to this round one of this World Boxing Council WBC Entrance Super Battle with title fight between Zambia's Captain Terry and Swan Jury. Kulakwashi from Zimbabwe. And Zamora Long. And with the better. How do you look at this one? Well, the fight has started off pretty well. Um, Kudakwashi has brought what Please share the live, share the live so that as many people can watch that don't have TV3. Kindly share the live. Now and giving her distance in order to gauge her fight strategy. But like I said earlier, Catherine is going to use experience to try and out, outsmart Kudakwashi. So we look forward to a good fight. This is a 10 rounder. Of course, uh, involving two refined Zambian boxer in uh, Captain Theory and of course African female boxer in Tikwa Tua Dere and that's Kuda Kwashe. They call her, of course, a uh, street punch and uh, he's uh, nicknamed Tech for Money. And of course, uh, this is. Uh, a prophetic fight here for Catherine, who says uh, the pro she has a prophetic punch which would do better to undo this uh, good question. Of course, on the first one has fought out her fight uh, so aggressively. Yes, it has. Um, Keep sharing. Course, Keep sharing. Share the life. Share the life. K. Kay Felix she here. Herself, she means business. Catherine needs to sit down Let other people watch. Let everyone else see. Now telling her so that she's able to focus. If you watch this movement from Kudakwashi trying to unsettle Catherine, and Catherine is moving back. She got caught there, but very good counter punch there from Catherine to show experience and to keep her at bay. Good, good head movement from Catherine. Of course keeping the body close so that it's a close contact fight as both boxers seem to be the same height. Very good combination there from Catherine. Yes indeed, the first one. The first one actually turned out and fought out so exciting. But let's wait and see how the second round shall fall out because these two ladies are throwing punches that you will never believe that they're coming from ladies. And of course, so it's catching theory. Uh, second lieutenant in the Zambia Air Force and uh, talk about uh, Kuta Kwashe who is uh, a hairdresser from the streets of Mahadari. And now it's uh, Kuta Kwashe taking a fight to catch it. Catch it remains so easily. And of course, she turns to draw the punches. Look at the ball of punches that are coming through. And the fight has started very explosive. Catch it is using skill there to counter Kuta Kwashe's advances. Yes, look at the skill of Catch it. She's a pro, and she's given me a good question. A straight punch to the first. And probably that could have blind the heart. It's a good question. Those are powerful punches that you see Catherine unleashing there. Catherine just needs to take it easy. Because good question has done a soft person. Oh, Mr. And Michael, in 1 3 2 and 6. <laughs> you need to actually we shall see. Probably you have to serve your first punch for last. Exactly so. As you see, Kula Kwashe means business. She's come here for work. Please share the live, share the live. Catherine is coming back. Let it's everyone else see this match. I'm getting ready to, to, to exit. It's for me, it's so electric. A combination of punches. You see the, the foot movement there. Very good movement from Catherine. Kula Kwashe, nickname to take money. Looks like she's here to take the money back to the streets of Harare because uh, she's a hairdresser there and she started off uh, from there uh, and the father Morris I'm sure he's watching this fight in Harare but of course uh, it's catching certain punches coming through some right hook and of course the uh, body punch that have come through put a punch trying to do an uppercut but failed in the situation and uh, two quick one on Catherine's face and of course, the one. Share the life, share the life. K. Felix was, here. Uh, good round, good round. Yes, indeed, a good round, it was. And Prophet Williams, at the Zim girl is all over the place. Ha 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 ha. 
But Beto, the too many. All right, thank you so much. Sama, Sama, I see you. Of course, I'm a good Samaritan. Why not? To counter the intelligence of Catherine. Catherine is coming in using skill. If you watch what's happening here, here Roger Matthews, I feel the same. And Catherine is just sizing up and using her power punches there. You go power to connect and score the match. Romance Piri, thank you so much. That is all experience there playing a role. You see Catherine using her skill. Coming up with powerful uppercuts. Esther Divine, I see you, woman of God. Brother Nixon, thank you for joining. Share the live. Let everyone else see this game. Boxer from the Amateurs, which was formed by Rico Ricardo way back in 2010 and 2011 when he joined the Oriental Party. And she's never looked back since then. I watched her as a toddler, as a 14 year old, like Catherine, and she was the Amateur Act. I saw that there was a future in this uh, girl. And of course, her first uh, professional fight, she fought Esther Charlotte of Exodus, whom she beat in May 2011. And Beth and Andre. She continued to <laughs> her. Yeah. And she's an orthodox. I told you, Temo Lubu. Of course. Left it's left good right to fight for money. The right one. Uh, the job which would be waiting to exterminate any other forces that would come. Mr. Against. Daniel Kunda, thank you so much for joining. Now there's the home support coming. Catherine and the Chipolo Polo song up is go. up now. The extra now, looking for that big punch to catch Kunepashe. The job should start working now for Catherine, as you see her sizing up our opponent. Very good fight. Just indeed, uh, Catherine Perry looks like uh, she's resolved to try and see, soak up the pressure from Kuda Kwashi and uh, catch up by surprise. But Kuda Kwashi also looks like she has some stance. She follows something up to turn up. But uh, she's been trying with punches to the first. That beautiful first, I'm sure. Don't need to punch it so much. But this is a sport where a lot of it all goes up on the and defend her. Oh yes, very good combination coming from Catherine there, using the body punches and coming up to the head to weaken her opponent. Some of them are landing on the opponent's hands to weaken her. There's a good straight left jab straight to Kudakwashi's chin. What a game, what a bout we have in our hand. The two boxes trading punches. The first jab, several boxes in Africa. So we're going into the... I'll give the first two rounds to Catherine and one to put a question so far. A nice quarter. End of round three. Thank you for 5,000 people watching. Share the live, share the live. Everyone has to see this match. So interesting match. Philip Chanda will come. Benson, I see you, sir. Catherine using her uppercut. And of course, the straight jabs to try and unsettle. Please share the, the live, share the live. Pastor Shilo, you are welcome, sir. You see the intensity and the concentration in Catherine's eyes. You can see this fight means a lot to her. It's a statement fight. And she has to do it for Zambia. <laughs> Thelma, I see you. And this bout will get it off because the belt, the WPC, is one of the highly rated belts in the boxing world. And earlier on, I was saying she's lost four out of the 21 she's fought, winning 17. Now, round four. Let's see. She's lost among them. The first one she lost to. And that is now President coming back to yeah, the fight. Yeah, and the time yeah, the fight yeah. to. Look at this girl. She's not. 
exposing from the exciting punches. You can imagine that this is a female boxing fight you watch it. Oh yeah, for the questions come psyched up now in this round, round four. And like I said, once you get to this round, it determines since both boxers know each other's strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> so now this is the time for heart. Michael, the winner of this match should go I here to Russia or oh, Ukraine. <laughs> Her little experience that she has to unsettle Catherine. Catherine is looking well composed and trying to keep herself ready for the latter rounds where she needs power punches to win this fight. Body punches there from Kuta Pasha to try and deflate her stomach. And of course with seven fights and four wins, two losses and one draw. Kuta Pasha, that's a record coming from Zimbabwe. And she says she's here to take all the belts and all the money. But uh, for Catherine Fury, looks like uh, she's resilient and she needs to take it easy and observe how Kuta Kwasha is coming at her. And if you look at it, Kuta Kwasha now looks like uh, she's slowed down to try and you know, take the fight to Catherine, but looks like uh, she's tired of it. Oh yeah, you can see some fatigue inside. You know, all of them have been out of the ring for some time. And what's, con what's uh, a bit concerning yeah, yeah, here is much, that yeah. both boxers are starting to be flat-footed. And you would expect them to be they both look tired control, now so that they're able to connect the much important points that they need on, on two punches. End of round four. What do you think at round four? Do you oh, think yeah. our Catherine is winning this one? Theologian, yeah, I, I think so. It doesn't look so well for Catherine. So there is Kuda Kwasha coming in. This Kuda girl is so determined. Head and body punches. Catherine trying her best to avoid them, but you can see the pressure is mounting. Hence forcing Dr. Catherine Luando, I see you, sir. Yeah. Wow. wow. Me, I and just knew at the Catherine beginning I wasn't so focused. confident. But let's wait and see. And that's a coach for Catherine Kiri, Mike Weaver Henry Banda. Thank you so much. Please share the live. Let everyone else see this much. Share the live. Thank you for 7,000 people watching right now. Dr. Water Divine. What a Davy, what's a moon? I see you, sir. I'm carrying a prophetic punch, she says. That's the one she's trading against her good acquaintance. She needs to come out quick and use the prophetic punch because Kudakwasha is building in confidence. I think she sees Pastor Herberts, I see you, sir. Thank you for joining. Prophetic punch now in order to settle this score. Both fighters have put in their best, and I think at the rate that they're going now, it's a 50-50 fight. One of them has to take the fight. That the one who wants the fight most is going to win this fight. Katie Perry, a second born to Fatima Zul and Martin Perry, and uh, she's grown up in the outskirts of Busak and Garden House area around Kanyama. Of course, she's. Mr. Yeah, Cracker, thank you so much. Oh yes, um, this is the highest, um, WBC means a lot, and if Catherine can get this interim belt, it places her in poor position to come back and re reclaim the glory that she once held when she represented Zambia and actually won the WBC silver belt. So this fight means a lot to her, like I said, statement fight, and I'm wishing her well as she tries to absorb the onslaught that's being presented to her by Kudakwashi, who seems to have come with a real meaning, wanting to win and take the money. Take the money. So far, at round number five, I think our Catherine is tired. What do you think? 
What do you think? Do you think our girl is gonna do this? Hari Bima, thank you, sir. Welcome. Mukei Zambia, welcome. I see you. McFarlane Potential. Look at our girl. What do you think? And this is Kola Pasha coming, pressing Catherine into a retreat posture. Catherine is walking back. Catherine is walking back, trying to take her opponent out. Mr. Lemekan, long time, sir. How are you? Lemekan Mwanza, I see you. Elisha Kaya, thank you so much. Solomon Chilekwa, thank you. I see you. But you can see now fatigue is starting to wear. Let's share the live. Round number six. So now it's take your leave. It's who wants it the most. I see some determination building in Kudakwashi, which is worrisome for Coach Mike and his team. They need to step up the plate and make sure that Catherine is able to hold on, use experience and box Kudakwashi in order to secure a victory. Got into the second, the sixth round, and now Kudakwashi starting the stronger of the two. Yeah, theologian, it doesn't look so good for us. So far for now, looks like like any round. Catherine certainly has a plan. You saw how she came the onslaught and how she was distributing the punches, selecting where to hit, using the body to soften her and using the head to confuse her, her opponent. Kudakwashi is just a hard nut to crack and she keeps pressing Catherine into a retreat posture. So Catherine needs to now use experience and box Kudakwashi so that she can gain a victory. Kudakwashi, a hard nut to crack, you see. Very strong. And she is just like a, the boxer we watched earlier, Boom Boom, who, despite having to beat all of us, the commentator sounds like he. Bishop Nkongo. Advancing. Absorb and get what she can get. Exactly. There's an issue there with the the tape. Droid Divine. Which is also a good one to get the much needed rest. This girl looks so strong. She warned Catherine. Distributing to her. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her face. She's so determined. <laughs> that has uh, all it takes to be a continental champion. I'm sure you know that by history, she's the only African champion to have held the WBC. So if she gets this one, another. Exactly so. Evangelist Benson, I see you. Thank you. I said this is a statement fight for her, and she really needs to go back into the zone. Yeah, that's true. The Zimbabwean seems so advantageous. We shall see. We are now going to round number seven. Up to grade seven. Oh, still round number six. Eight and nine are to Monana Primary School. As we get into the sixth round of the ten round. I think this round should actually be over due to the break, as they won't be able to time this round. Yeah, yeah. So I think the ref needs to step in, or they'll use the the seconds that were taken out. Of course, just like optional time in football, where the fight was stopped earlier before the. End of the half. And this is a girl that finished. Mr. Wasamunu. Okay. But ah. So anyway, let's wait and see. Up to now, but she's a lieutenant colonel in the Zambia Air Force. And Mr. Alex, you're welcome. Alex Mumulopa, you're welcome, sir. Let's share the live. It's 9,900 people watching right now. Let's share the live. 
We are going to round number seven. Thank you for 10,000 people watching right now. Very good, solid job there to Kudakwasha team. Kudakwasha trolling and trying to look for a knockout punch to see if she can catch Catherine off guard. Catherine is fighting hard. That's the good news. <laughs> well, I'm in the Let's wait. Yeah. But at this stage, I think the Zimbabwean can take it. I don't know what others think. And uh, we enjoying ourselves here at Government Complex. Quite explosive encounter, we think. We entering into the seventh round. Quicker Collins. It's uh, ten rounds. So this is Both round number seven now. Those are first bout to Barbara Banda. Now who has uh, turned into a footballer. At that time, she so, was so the flower of Banda's news from Catherine Pirit, who in the end has received a reply from Kuda Kwashe. It's the seesaw kind of a fight. Yes, it is the seesaw kind of fight. Catherine has been out of the ring for a while, and Kuda Kwashe is trying to capitalize on that. Catherine needs to go back to her fight plan which I'm sure they, they, they derive with their training staff and make sure that she doesn't get caught um, because Kula Pasha seems to be loading up and getting stronger by the round so it's who wants it most and I see Catherine giving in she needs to really focus and come back into the zone and protect herself at all times and continue pressing Kula Pasha and make sure she's able to fight back Yes, Catherine has uh, found her match in Kula Pasha and uh, the fight, I mean, no blows. You can see Kuda Kwasha pushing in some blows in Catherine's underhand to try and defend her and uppercut her. Yes. And look at those hoods, left and right. Mukai Zambia, yeah, he had an act to lose. Kuda Kwasha replaced her. Another Catherine, but landed so to the target. You can see the passion back in Captain Bryce. She's trying to keep herself inside this fight. Kuda Kwasha seems to be presenting a match for her, like you rightly said. This is a tough test for Catherine. After a layoff from the ring, Kuda Kwasha seems hungry for this title. Could we see this part going at this um, Catherine is so tired. Hard to say Very right tired. Now we are looking at um, two minute rounds with this round coming to an end now and not knowing what fight plan Coach Mike and his team have or what what uh, fight plan Coach Clyde Musonda has for Kuda Kwashe. We are yet to see. This the is not good. Right this now. is not good. Clyde Musonda, the Zambian. Clyde Musonda Only two rounds remaining. And, uh, the, Dr. Wasamun. I see you, sir. So Catherine has only two rounds to prove that she's, oh my god. <laughs> I think the same WhatsApp group in Manchester United. There you see Kuda Kwasha pressing hard and Catherine replying with a good uppercut. Nice head movement. Nice head movement from Catherine there. Ah, yeah, na pavi pai. Another fourth Catherine for Catherine. Coming. Complex. Potential McFarlane. <laughs> I think I demand she please help us. <laughs> Catherine, edging her to up her game through the top. This is round number eight. last year, in last fight. Now let's see if the second Zambian will inflict pain and lost in two through Ketri. And this is a penultimate round. Let's see. What comes of this? Catherine pins to the ropes and Kuda Kwasha coming on, taking over. And of course, the flurry of Jack 
stops that comes up and Captain tries to reply here in fashion. But as Captain has distance, he tries and ties up her opening. And now Tuda Kwashe has gone to her orthodox stance. Just like now both are on the same stance. Both are now fighting on the same stance, you're right Kelvin. But I see a lot of fatigue drawing into our champion and Kuda Kwashe trying to capitalize on that. Um, the rounds are two minutes each, so Catherine really needs to stay in her zone and make sure that she's delivering precision punches in order to halt the onslaught that is being presented like that. You know, that is being presented by Kuda Kwashe, who seems to be building in confidence now as she approaches our champion. Yeah, Catherine has only four minutes to prove herself is she could be the African woman boxing champion under the, the blue PC super phantom weight as Kuta Kwasha keeps on coming. Coming on her with some jabs and of course Vettel. And let's look at it from that angle. Catherine here tried to reply, but only now. But can she slowly but surely? Absorb and soak up the pressure that is coming from Kuta Kwashe. Oh Kuta my god, oh, Catherine is so tired. Very strong. Good round there, good round for both boxers. Four minutes remaining. Reverend Fuller. At the Palulo Mumnanqui. Ah, I think you always know about Mumma. I think we have a Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh no! Oh. Yeah, Catherine now has nothing left. Very oh my god! Left punch there. That presented a chance for heads to clash. Four more minutes remaining. Only Catherine two rounds now remaining. For, either of the two for Catherine Peary to do whatever she can do, everything she can do to win this one. A champion of Super Bantamweight in Africa. Mr. Philip Chanda, I see you. Catherine is making points, not that sharp. Okay. Apart from being boxers, and the father Morris and mother Edna Makunda and Mukanya, the little daughter, they are watching these fights out there in Zimbabwe. But I believe Mr. Edward. We shall see. I hope she does. I'm sure. There's so much excitement and happiness from the Zimbabweans here. As you can see, Kuta Kwasha looks like she's enjoying her moment. Mr. Mulenga, I see you, sir. How are you? Victory, but uh, she's... Got ah, this, this girl looks... She looks so strong, sir. Yes, I think she has scored that, more. Uh, According to what I've seen, she has see scored more. She has now, scored uh, more than the, Catherine. The, the, the coaching staff of Catherine are trying to make sure that her, her gloves are taped up properly. Before the Share the live. Last two rounds remaining. Twelve thousand people watching right now. Mr. Moses, I see you. How was our strategy? Okay. Rise up to the occasion. Catherine will definitely rise up to the occasion for us. And that's our Catherine there. I'm sure now she knows that. Uh, only one round remaining, and uh, it's either take it or leave it. So you have to go for an all out attack. This is number nine, is number nine. so number crucial for both the boxers here. The just to, to go full throttle, firing on all cylinders, and making this encounter to actually not go the full distance. Let's see if it can end in any time from now. But if it doesn't, then it will go for distance. It will definitely go distance. I hope Catherine can hold on and continue to use her experience and use her footwork and keep moving. 
Those are good points there that Catherine has scored. But could a question still yeah, press it? Could a question still press it? I'm still focused on trying to make the question retreat. And she tried to duck that back. She throws one. Overhead right, which luckily never caught Catherine. Yeah. Could a question taking her opening to the rope and Catherine would retreat trying to find space so that she can get back at her a jab to the first and Very three jabs of combination. combination of jabs and of course the slipper from Catherine oh, still on her feet could the question still going strong <laughs> Catherine still resilient <laughs> Oh yes, she put up a good fight. Um, it's not easy to go all the way nine rounds with two seconds left. And Kudakwashe, younger, pressing, very dominant. Oh wow, those power punches we saw on social media starting to show now. Of course, the heat and the tour have taken over Catherine. Probably needs now to manage yes, this fight so that she's not knocked down. But uh, she yeah, must yeah, continue yeah, winning yeah, and getting points to the face. Oh, wow. oh my God! Linga Sichone, I see you. And my scorecard goes to put a question. Although Catherine oh, yes. has some good spells. Mr. There, Lungu. I, that she can transform that now in the final round and capitalize I see you. K. Felix, inspire. Of course, inspiring you again. Linga Sichone, welcome. Now we are going to the last round. I still maintain this girl from Zimbabwe. I think she has done so well. I don't know how it will come out, but she has done so well. And she is taller, huh? She is taller than our girl. Kudakwasha wants to be the dominant one coming forward, pressing. Very good round for the Zimbabwe. This now is a decider. The final. <laughs> Robert round. Christian, of course. Okay. Now, this is the last, 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 last the round. Now, this is the last, 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 last round. If Catherine <laughs> will never knock this girl here, then she has won. <laughs> That's what I think. Woo! Look at what she's doing now. I'm sure we're going to experience a very explosive fight. The final round will bring in a bit of carelessness, maybe between the two boxes, but whoever will be too careless will be caught up. And the one who will be too cautious shall be too smart enough. And then the check point there on Catherine. She replied to Catherine Hub. Could have passed his face. Look at oh, that story and the uh, moment that comes through from Kuta Pasha. It's the Manuchi way. It's the Manuchi way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's who wants it the most. And right now you can see, take money in Kuta Pasha. This game. Kandira is really trying to press on Catherine to secure a victory. Catherine needs to come out with all the home support in a packed hall. She needs to come out and do it for Zambia. Yes, indeed, an uppercut from the left hook. And that is now the last uh, two seconds of uh, this bout. I know this will go a distance. With just under 30 seconds remaining, half of a minute, I'm sure that this now will go to your scorecard as the Catherine is receiving commandments and being held there by the home fans to have a game, but only now the seconds are running out. Get your comb if you have a comb, can you have a comb? This is all right. An exciting, explosive, simple acting encounter. The Catherine has not really disappointed. <laughs> Each and every fan, I can see everybody up standing now. Oh no, it is over. It is over. 
who actually is the winner. Exactly, the scorecard will determine who is the winner, but let's take it. Uh, take Money has really come to Zambia, determined to upset our champion, to take and money. she's really proved her point. She's fought well, Catherine has equally fought well, so now it's all determined by the, the, the judges to guide us as to who takes Shadrick, blessings. You think this is a draw? I don't think so. I would not be surprised at all, but there must be a winner in this fight. Just one and ten rounds. Very good punches with a slip there. Looks like there's some water in the corner there that caused the slip or into a mirror. Quite a number of boxers also slipped in the same place too. Very good counter punching there from Catherine. Put up a good fight. So I think the best result should now. just be a draw. Otherwise, we have lost. Catherine has really put in her all. I see some swelling on Catherine's face. So the two boxers are... Oh my god. Why yes, so? Sorry, Catherine. Ben Beto, you are saying draw it can't be possible. Then who's the winner? The opponent, the Zimbabwean? Magnus, you think Catherine has won? I don't think so. This is all up to the judges to give us the score. Very good counter punching there from Catherine. I hope Catherine wins. Let's see what they'll do. Boom. Big punches there. Mr. Aaron. Pastor. Oh, Ramambo, you think Catherine has won? Okay. <laughs> that is intense pressure there from the Zimbabwean Kudakwashe take money to on our very own David Andrew Kingston. Andrew. Yeah, looks like that. We shall see. Very good fight. Catherine really showing Solomon Chilekwa. I feel the same. And standing up for what she knows best. Yeah, really fighting, yeah. counter punching. Yeah. <laughs> This has been a very good fight. Yes, it was. And um, the last round, as I showed it off, because any of these uh, two boxers would have picked it up if they would have knocked the other. Absolutely. It's surprising that we didn't get a knockout. It shows that both boxers had trained adequately for this fight and both boxers were actually extremely fit. They were equal to the task. They were equal to the task, yeah. I think let it just be a draw. It's to four in favor of the winner. Let's just wait for the announcement. And it has taken a bit of time for the ring officials to come up with the winner. It's usually compiling the results now. You've got international referees there who are trying to do the totals and then the commissioner has to certify it before an announcement is made. But extremely good tournament. We've seen Zambians fighting Zimbabwean, Zambians fighting Malawian. We've seen uh, Congolese fighting... Don't worry, theologian. I'm not going offline. A fight of international standard with the, the government complex hall filled to capacity. I'm not going offline. I'm here for you. My name is K. Felix. Inspire. Big up to the sponsors. As you can see, the place is jam-packed. Everyone anxiously anticipating the announcement of the new winner of the WBC interim belt. Of course, there were seven boxers from Zambia. Three from Malawi, four from Zimbabwe, and the Diara Congo and uh, Namibia had 
one each. And uh, in total we have 16 boxes from the eight bouts we covered live on TV3, the national broadcaster. And of course on Tops and Decoder. For those that were unable to watch these explosive encounters either by way of television or live, you've missed out. Oh my god! That's a heavy combination there from Kudapashi in the closing minutes of the round and you see her confidence building and Catherine using experience to counter Mr. Henry Banda, okay counter and defend herself and the Pastor, good news, you all come sir and I'm sure always here Catherine for you K. Felix inspire inspiring you to give us the final verdict the match commissioner is Australian Hauchi. Now the results are coming. Let's wait and see. In the ring there is about to confirm the scorecard. Yes, Muo has won. Muo won the match. Not knowing what will be the next results, but in the past you will know. By then I'm sure you have a pointer. But uh, this time around. Chansa Kalumba, of course, All Catherine the Muntues. At Catherine, a fire question of the film. Drawing a line <laughs> with the team from Choma in a white shirt, in a white shirt representing King Stables from South People are worried. Excellent turnout, very hospitable crowd. Thank you so much everyone who shared this live. We had 14,000 people watching live. Thank you so much for everyone that shared, that came live. Of course, I'm still here. I'm not going off until we see the winner. But why has it taken so long to add up the results? Ladies and gentlemen, from the judges, judge number one, Lynette Onam, 92, 98. Judge number two, Francis Chirua, 96, 94. Judge number three, Tandiwe, 92, 98. And ladies and gentlemen, on split. Oh no. Oh no. You see what I was telling you? I'm so sad now for Catherine, but I knew. I already saw this one. She has been beaten. This girl is something else. She warned Catherine. So sad for our country. We waited for so long from 15 hours to almost 23 now. Oh my God.
once again thank you so much everyone who came through who came live thank you for everyone who shared the live we hit almost 14,000 14, viewers watching live thank you so much everyone K Felix here will always be there for you this is so sad for Zambia this girl came all the way from Zimbabwe and she's gotten the belt let's see if there'll be interviews and see what they'll have to say <laughs> prophet williams you see what i was telling you we have lost I feel so sad, but I knew it was going to be this way. Oh, our Catherine. Oh, sorry, girl. And I'm sure this is our last fight. I don't think she was going to fight again. And her face is swollen now. Let's 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 listen. Let's let's listen to what they have to say.
And so that's it. Thank you so much, everyone that joined. Uh, this is K. Felix. K. Felix Inspire, always here for you. Uh, like I said, this is so sad for Zambia. I already saw this match was going to be this way because the girl looked so sharp, looked so strong. And as you can hear from the interview, she said she's, she's, she's fresh. Catherine is tired, she's odd. And I think that's true because Catherine has done a lot of fights. And I think uh, all good things must come to an end at some point. I think this is uh, time for the Zimbabwean to enjoy it. Once again, I thank you again for sharing. We hit 14,000 views, live views. I'll always be there for you whenever we have such events. K. Felix loves you so much. And I am signing up. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.